Hello, I am Rolf Kopsch and in this video tutorial I will show you the extended debug features available with Kyle MDK for ST-Link users. Kyle MDK is the most comprehensive software development solution for the various STM32 microcontroller families and provides everything you need for creating, building and debugging embedded applications. MDK also offers various professional middleware components. In this video we introduce you to the powerful debug features of Kyle MDK that are available when using ST-Link. This is the debug adapter that is available on many STM32 Discovery and Nucleo kits. Most of the MDK debug features are available with ST-Link. However, MDK also supports other debug adapters including the U-Link series. In this video I will show cool debug techniques that are available with MDK, like live watch to variables while your program is running, conditional breakpoints which help you to trigger on variable changes, event recorder and component viewer that give you context and time information of software components, with serial wire output trays, short SWO, you get also variable changes over time with the logic analyzer as well as time and statistics of your interrupt execution. The high-performance U-Link debug adapters are allowed to analyze power consumption or to use instruction trays for getting code coverage and execution profiling. This tutorial is quite universal and applies to most STM32 kits. I'm using here a STM32L4 Nucleo kit and to use ST-Link just connect the board to the PC over USB and install the required drivers. As an example project, I use the CMSYS RTOS 2 Blinky that is available in every STM32 device pack. Ok, let's start Microvision. Just open the project and configure the debugger. Open the options for target dialog and choose ST-Link. Click on the settings button and verify that the debug connection to the target is active. After building the project, start the debugger where you can single step or set breakpoints. The call stack shows each thread along with the local variables. We can add expressions to the watch window and values changes get updated live while the code executes. We can also set a breakpoint for access to a variable and specify conditions. An example, write access to the blink counter variable when its value is 10. OK. As you see, execution stops at the code that triggers this conditional access breakpoint. With the system viewer, we observe peripherals. An example the port that connects to the LED. MDK allows to track values in multiple windows during program execution. This simplifies the analysis of complex issues. Kyle MDK has several unique debug features, for example the event recorder, which provides high level visibility into dynamic code execution. The event recorder component equips developers with an API for event annotations in the application code that are stored in a circular buffer while the program is running. During runtime, MDK displays these events. We can see my custom event that I have added for every counter update. And when I push the button on the board, I get a different event notification. ST-Link also supports serial wire trays, which gives you visibility to data changes or internet activities. To use trays, open the options dialog and select trays enable. Ensure that the correct core clock frequency is entered. Well, and you may now use the logic analyzer to observe variable changes without any code overhead. 
In the Traced Exceptions window, you can get information about interrupt execution of your application. Note that ST-Link has trace bandwidth restrictions, and you may observe trace data overflows which indicate that the trace recording is incomplete. Such overflows would not happen when you use a U-Link unit with higher trace bandwidth. OK, now you have seen some of the key debug features available with Kyle MDK in combination with STM32 starter kits. Visit our website to download and install MDK for evaluation. We can also offer an extensive Getting Started user's guide or a learning platform where you can find applications and more video tutorials. If you have any questions, contact our professional support team where you can reach me or my colleagues. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy using STM32 boards with Kyle MDK.